Hi, I'm Mallory Ray. And I'm Twyla. And welcome to our channel. We are just two um, regular, degular, schmegular women of color who just like to play with makeup. No, we aren't professionals, so don't clock By us on means. our work. Okay. Um, but we just enjoy makeup and we subscribe to some subscription boxes and we seen that there was a lack of representation in a, with African American women doing these unboxings for subscription boxes. So we decided to just put our hand in it and give it a go. See what it do. Okay. <laughs> so today we are going to film our first video. So it may be some little kinks and screws. Just let us live. We'll get on it. Yes. Um, of the February Boxy Premium box. I'm sorry, Boxy Premium. For those of you who are new, first of all, for those of you who are new, all y'all are new because it's our first video, like, comment, and subscribe below, right, please. below please. And, and share. Show, and share and show us some love, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but Boxy Charm is a description box. Oh, stuff down. So Boxy Charm is a subscription box. Um where there's three tiers. There's a base box, a premium box, and a luxe box. And um, the base box is only $25, and you get up to five full socks products for $125. You also get, there's another tier that's premium, where they give you six to seven full size items, and they promise you of a total over $200, I believe, or something close to that. And then there's a bi monthly boxy luxe, which is like the top tier is $50 every three months. And they promise you eight to nine full size items over $275 value. So today we are unboxing our premium boxes because we have not yet received our base box. Unfortunately, boxy, y'all slipping on y'all pimping. -pim. They promise to have your box to you in 15 business days and today is the 13th Today's day of the month I received it. and we both have not received it but we both received our premium boxes so we are going to unbox and share with you today okay so let's get to it so every box comes with its um like a card and a theme and this month's theme is a door um, each box has a variation, and I have variation 22. What variation? This mm -hmm. month I have variation 22 as well. So we have the same variation, which means we'll probably have a lot of the same products. Um, so we will go ahead and just dig right in. Okay. So the first product I see is this Coors Body Butter. Yes, I got that as well. And mine is in the scent Bergamot and Pear. Okay, mine is in Guava. And um, to be honest, I tried this last night, girl. Okay, I tried mine a little bit before <laughs> I came in. Um, I really yeah. liked the way that it worked. It was very hydrating. It has shea butter, almond oil, and avocado oils, which work really wonderful with my skin, mm -hmm. especially this time of year. It's so cold in the winter months, my skin gets dry. So as well, yeah. it really works well. Now I do have a little complaint. This particular scent, I don't like guava. Oh, mine's just I bomb. I don't like it. Mine's just bomb. Oh, it's my mine's bomb. Okay. So. I'm not really picky with scent, though. As See, long? this one I could have done. Yeah, I could have done this, this one. This one is too. a nice, sweet. I, I could get jiggy with that. You could. I don't like this one. The formula for the actual body butter is great, but the guava scent, I don't, I'm not really into coconut. Mm -hmm. And it has a little bit of a coconut smell. So. I love coconut. I love anything like islandy and tropical-y. I like, I'm not really picky on scent though. So as long as well, it got me smelling right. Look, as I'm long sure. as it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm going to use it. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm going to show. Use it. This is a plus. I will definitely use this. It's not going to waste. Okay. <laughs> so I just, I'm not that crazy about the scent, but it's, it's a very good product as far as doing the job it needs to do. As you can see, my hands are very moisturized at this point. Okay. So. Well, I haven't used this since last night. Um, and I am a woman who likes to lotion down after a bath or a shower. It's, I don't like my skin dry or tight. I have dry skin. So this did do the job. I liked it a lot. This was the Coors Body Butter, and it retailed for $32. $32. Okay, the next product that was in our box was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist Ultra Fine Mist. 
So that's what this one was. And I received that. I received that item as well. Okay. It's also full size. Yes. And I am here for Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe is a really good brand to me. Their products are marvelous. A lot of their products I have tried through BoxyCharm. Um, BoxyCharm last month in the premium box gave us the watermelon sleep mask. And then the month before that, it was the watermelon moisturizer. So because of Boxy, I'm fucking with it. I got the whole little, um, for real, I got the the whole little collection and didn't have to drop a big <laughs> coin so i'm here for it i've heard good things about this so. okay i slept on premium the first time when premium first started i was a little hesitant and i waited Mallory kept I saying go you. ahead and get it i told you. i didn't do it and as soon as she was like you better go ahead and get in because they have you know this that and other and i was like okay let me get in i was on wait list so i finally got off wait list last month mm -hmm. so i have the mask but I don't have the, the moisturizer. The moisturizer. And so I've been using the moisturizer out. since I have it. It's like almost gone. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm mad because I missed out. But that was my fault. But this is the product itself. It's in a nice little tube here. And it, you can see it's a little separated. Mm -hmm. So it you just mix it up a little yeah. bit. And we're going to try it out. Okay. You want me to try it on Sure. I mean, okay. Make it. Just a little something here. They say let it mist down. I'm gonna do it one more time. Sure. Mm. Yeah, no, it I'm feels good. It's really far. a little bit too low though. <laughs> I love the scent. Though. It's it's really it's really fine mist and it smells amazing. So I'm here for this. Like I said, I have the whole little glow recipe collection with the watermelon. I'm here for it. And it is um newer on their line. So this was a plus. So I'm this is a, to yeah, use this glow one. recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist. And this retailed for $28. $28, ladies. What's next? So next we got this ambient um, lightning blush uh, hourglass blush. Yes. Yes. Hourglass blush. I got it in the shade diffused heat. I got it in diffused heat as well. Let's see what it looks like. Because I only cheated on one product and opened it, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, I didn't open up anything else, but that's it. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure about this color. Okay, yeah, so this is the color is that I got. It's not going to work. Look at that pink. If you okay. can see your swatch. Now, now look at me and look at this. This is not going to work for us chocolate ladies. Look at this. Okay. I mean, it looks like it could, but look at how it comes off. Like, how pale. Okay, let's see. Look at it. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Yeah, that's... I Not love a good, a good blush. Bag. And I'm sad because Hourglass is like a upper scale like brand. They own some, you know, upper echelon. I was kind of looking forward to it because I don't really play with I don't, blush. I don't have nothing Hourglass. Oh, okay. I love you some. Girl, can't you tell? I love you some. And you know what? You make the blush work. I'm still trying to get into There's certain things I'm good at, certain things I'm not. And blush, my blush game is a little. Little, yeah. it needs work. I don't know if this so, is gonna work. I'm gonna try it out, but Olivia, girl, this might be yours, girl. This might be I'll yours. probably have to find someone who can use this because I don't want it to go to waste because it yeah, looks like this a little might not work product. for me. But this ambient lighting blush, um, by Hourglass retails for $40. $40. So I'm sad that it does not work, uh, for me, but that been good. That would have been the blush was $40 and the box was $35. So you already got your money's worth. It's easy peasy, girl. Easy peasy. Okay, so the next thing we got, which I'm kind of glad it came when it did. Mm -hmm. Boxy Charm always seems to know when I run out of things. Okay. <laughs> um, is the Tarte Tape Base Double Duty Beauty Primer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've never used this. Have you used this before? I've never used this. I have used Tarte before, but I've never used any of their primers before. Okay, so I'm looking forward to this. I, I think I've tried a couple of things from Tarte. I usually stick to one particular brand of most of my makeups, except for when they put things in boxy charm. I mean, it gets you a chance so, to try new items. Yes, so. and that's how I you. try. That's how I try new things. Mm -hmm. So, this particular one I'm looking forward to because I ran out of primer, so this came right on time. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I do like about these subscription boxes. And for me, I'm always here for like a hydrating primer. Like I have dry skin. Now we are in the winter months here in California, even though people swear we don't get that much winter, but my skin gets really, really dry. So I'm not really like a matte girl all the time, but um, I'm interested to try this. Yes, I am. This is a full size Tarte Base Shape Hydrating Primer, and this retails for $30, which is average price. Yes. Average price for a primer. Yes, absolutely. 
Absolutely. So the next thing that I was excited to get, and I was afraid I wasn't gonna get it, I wasn't sure if I picked it, because with the premium box, you get a chance to pick yes. one of your items. You get a choice item. Yes, so you get to customize by one item, mm -hmm. and I couldn't remember what it was that I had actually chosen, and then I started to look, and I was like, oh, please, let me let me have gotten this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about this Picante palette by from Carity. Yes, I'm here for this. Let me tell you, this, this one is this, this is a is hit. Nice. This is chocolate this girl is friendly. Nice. Let me show you these shades, girl. Okay, because if I like nothing else, I love an eyeshadow palette, and I you can spend like eight eight like what sixty dollars a month on new eyeshadow palettes. Look at these colors, beautiful, beautiful. Say, I can't wait to play with that. I can't wait to play say with the that. same chocolate girl friendly. All of these colors. Yes, this one was say. definitely a good pick. And I think, I also think it'll work for fair people too. Yeah, it'll work okay. for everybody. Yes. We just, but it's nice to have something that will that actually work I know that'll work for me. For me. Okay. So, so, yes. This was the first time I heard of Beautiful. Carotene. I've never I've heard, never of, heard of them neither, brand. but I did some research after I heard, after the choice item when we got to pick our items. And I seen uh, Mike Lynn with Suzanne and she was, she was saying that it was very highly picked until she did a few looks with it. And I'm here for it. This is probably going to be my new go-to um, palette. I'm going to have to put that little Morphe one down <laughs> and go to this. I'm really interested to try it. This Picante palette by Carity retails for $29. So $29. Amazing. Girl. I'm, I'm excited about this that. This made that the one. box for me yes. and $29. And I was going to say, between that and the mist, I was cool. And I got my money's worth already. Yes. So, so. I'm, I'm here for it. And then the last but not least, we got this um, 24 karat gold foil moisturizer by Facha. Okay. Huh. Okay. There's been some controversy Bring on about the shade, this girl. particular thing. Um, we follow um, Catherine Wolf. What's her name? Yeah, is it Katie Wolf? Catherine Wolf. Katie and Kathy. She's part pack. of the Wolf Pack. Wolf right. Pack. Um, and she has an opportunity to do more research on the products. And I, we always kind of tune into her channel mm -hmm. to find out what products they're going to be Spoilers, featuring. Spoilers, Mara. Shout out to you, girl. Exactly. Shout out to you. And when she did her research on this particular one, because it was like a newer brand, she went to go research it. And there wasn't a lot of information out there on it. And as she continued to do her digging, she found out that. Alibaba had a product that is very much like this. It looked dead on it, very similar. They say it's not the same. The, the packaging and the everything. product itself looked very much the same. Listen. And on Alibaba, they were selling it for like a dollar or no more than two dollars. Girl, it was a dollar yeah. fifty. Okay. And pack when, of chips. <laughs> pack of chips. But Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> Two RC colors. <laughs> a pickle out the pickle jar at the liquor store. But dollar fifty. And but yet here on premium, it's saying that it's a hundred. It said it retails for hundred dollars. So and so it just leads to question what's in this product that would make it a hundred dollars if Alibaba is selling it for a dollar fifty two dollars. They can go so, to hell in a hell basket. They ain't got to worry about me using this. Yeah, I'm a little bit, you know, because you have to be very careful what you put you on do. any of your skin, of course, but especially your face. So I don't know if I'm willing to take the chance with this. So this one is a no for me. And normally with items that I feel like I don't use or I can't use because my skin tone, I pass them on to like my little cousins or gifts or homegirls or whatever the case may be. But I think I'm just going to dump this right in the trash because if I'm, I wouldn't pass on anything I wouldn't use. So I'm very skeptical about this one. They they dropped the ball with this one. I mean, I feel like I still got my money's worth in the box, but they ain't gotta worry about me. 24 karat gold by Facha moisturizer. You ain't gotta worry about Mallory yeah. Ray. No, no, not at all, I, baby. I'm not I'm not too keen on that one, so I think that one's gonna be a pass for me also. So but I think I got my money's worth with the Picante palette mm -hmm. and the watermelon uh, oh, fine nice. mist. I think I got my money's worth with the same, the Picante palette, which is my favorite. Um, the watermelon glow mist because it um, completes my um, glow recipe collection at the crib for the skincare for my routine. But I was also, I'm here for this, maybe just because I used it last night. I mean, I'm a, 
Bath and Body Works type of chick. I like the little 24 hour shea butter, all yeah. of them. You know what I'm saying? But it's nice to try something new. They said this retail for $32. I don't know if I spent $32 on um, seven ounces of lotion, no. body butter. But I mean, if y'all want to put it in my box, I'm here. Oh, for yeah, it. I'm going to use it. I'm here for it. I didn't like the scent of mine. I could have done with a different scent. If I had gotten the one that she got, I would have been in love with it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the formula and the way that it worked on my skin, mm -hmm. I think that it's of good quality. Would I pay $32 for it? Hell I would not. not. I would not. But I mean, who ain't using lotion? Yeah. That's the so, real Well, I mean, it is some of you little ashy mother. No, <laughs> Y'all be ashy in these comments. Y'all might need to lie the rap. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, who can't use a lotion in your car or having a lotion like at the office or something? So if nothing else, you can use it for that. Right. So I'm, I'm definitely still this going might be because you needed you needed some um, primer. Yes, and so, it might surprise okay. you. So I I'm looking forward to trying that particular one. I will say the last primer I had came from one of my subscription boxes yes. from from Boxy Charm. It was the no, no poor problem. no problem. Yes, no poor no problem. And that one was a hit crazy good i had to like buy Loved it again it. i had okay. to buy it again it was so bad i was good i was gonna re-up but when they said they were putting it okay primer. so christmas time they had it 50 percent off oh, I miss so that. i stocked up okay and I'm boxy was good it. for that too because i got the no poor no problem from them and i got the um hydrating essence that i used before i put the primer on to make sure i ain't dry and crusty mm. no i don't do the dry and the crusty and it also had like a little bit of glow it gave your skin a little bit of a yeah, glow yeah and it. so they just give you like the whole collection i was witty and i had to just re-up on it because it worked that good i did like that primer i did yeah that one was and that really was good. full size as well so yeah so i mean when you do these subscription boxes for me it it just saves me a lot of money right. because I can go in just to get, let's just say I needed to go in for the primer. So when I go into Sephora for the primer, the mm -hmm. primer is supposed to be what, $30? Mm -hmm. That's what I, I go average. in for that, yet other things catch my eye. So I'm going it's to just spend like $100. Target. You know yes. you go to Target, girl, to get some toothpaste. Ugh. You don't walk out of Target with two candles, toothpaste, a loaf of bread, some avocados because you thought you was going to wake up early enough to make some avocado toast, and a new palette, and that wasn't even a plan. No. So, now this is saving me from having to go into an Ulta or Sephora. And save your coin. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've, I've actually saved money being Same. through this subscription Same. box. Um, so... It's really worth it as far as getting opportunities to try different brands that you may have heard of before, but thought to yourself, I'm not going to pay that for it. Mm -hmm. This or gives you an opportunity. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's break it let's down. Just, let's or, keep it honey. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it a buck. Okay. It's a okay. few brands like Hourglass. Yes. If it was up to me, no, I wouldn't drop $40 on a blush. No. Not, not on just the blush. On a foundation? Yes. I could spend that on a foundation I'll, or something. I spend it on a foundation. But $40 on a blush, y'all go no. to hell. Okay? No. <laughs> not going to do that because, again, number one, I'm still experimenting. Right. And I'm not going to pay $40 for an experiment. Right. So, and also, I just, I don't know. I just wouldn't spend $40 on a blush. That's just, that's just me. Right. Um, and in, until I get one or they put one in my box that works for, for my skin tone, right. if I were to use it. I have no problem that repurchasing. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would repurchase. Mm -hmm. But to this point, that's why using a subscription box is a good idea for those of us who want to experiment with different brands. Right. Absolutely. So this, this gives me that opportunity. So, um, what was the total for our box this month? Do you do you have a tally? Yes. Uh, so for the total box uh, for all, I think it's seven items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six items. The total box what retails for two hundred and fifty nine dollars. So we got all these products. Um, if I was to go into Sephora and buy mm -hmm. them, they're two hundred fifty nine dollars. Oh, well, I. Well, that one wasn't going to go. So it would have been $159. You just got a blank stay on the camera on this one. Okay. That would have been $159 because I wouldn't have picked this one up. This said wasn't no goddamn $100. I don't know who y'all thought y'all yeah. was getting over on. Yeah. No, I... But we ain't the one or the two. No. No. So, yeah, y'all go ahead with that So I, I was disappointed with So that. we just going to say <laughs> this box retail for $159. And we only paid... just subtracted the dollars $159. And we only paid $35. So... We got our money's worth. I got my money's worth. I Definitely. got my money's worth with just the three items that I know gonna work for show and one that I'm willing to try. Yes. So to me, it was absolutely worth it. Yes, it's definitely worth it. So I'm glad that because 
getting into the subscription boxes was her recommendation. Yes, I've been with BoxyCharm for a little, a little over a year and a half now. And for the most part, they've been good. I got some top, top, like Brent Farsali, things that I would not buy on my own with my own money because I, I, I can't afford. I just, I just can't. Just, yeah, realistically. And um, I think I started using the subscription box in April of last year. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little under a year. And I found that, number one, it's nice to get something in the in the mail that's not a bill, right. first of all. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> you know, so yes. it's something to look forward to. <laughs> and when, when it comes, it's giving you an opportunity to do something for yourself. Self-care right, right, right. is, is like a big thing for me. Yeah. Um, but this has given me an opportunity to try new products mm -hmm. and to um, just have a little bit more to dabble with. All right. So, so hopefully you like the content that we brought to you today. It'll be more videos coming. I know we are both waiting on our boxy base box. Yes. So we we'll still have. Hopefully, time. in the next couple of days, we'll, we'll be back. And we know that there's some bomb spoilers for next month because their premium box is all Fenty and Looking it is some chocolate girl friendly it. items up in there, girl. So check this out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get every upload because I know you're going to come back and watch this video. I know you are. And make sure you share. Yes, and spread the word. Please. We just we just starting, so get our views up. Get our subscribers up. Yes. All right. All <laughs> Y'all right. have a good evening. All right. Bye. Bye.